Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome today to Topaz, where we're gonna head inside shortly for an update on the results of the detailing with my Ford GT, and then get started with the paint protection film installation. And as you can kind of tell, there are some pretty cool cars around that we're gonna be able to take a look at too. So let's catch up with Nabil, head straight in and see how it's going. Okay, here we go. And that is looking awesome. Nabil's here, how are you? How are you? I'm very That's good. Great. This looks great. so nice. It's good, no? I can already tell that this is looking good. And you just so happen to have it alongside another GT as well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> by total coincidence. A handful of them in the yeah, country. Yeah. But we'll get onto that because that's yeah. actually a really big part of talking about the PPF, which we're going to do later yeah, on. Definitely. Uh, and creating templates for a car like this. But yeah. I mean, I'm just standing here and, and casually, by the way, there's a setup <laughs> on the other side. Um, you can imagine your two car garage right yeah, now, right there. I, I'm, I'm picturing that. Well, we'll be here with my center in not too long. So, okay. I'm just looking at this. I'm seeing reflections on it. What do it. you think? It's looking phenomenal. It's looking much better, isn't it? I mean, Big it, time. It, it was looking really good before. It was. But this is just lift, giving it a little bit of a lift. It's just that extra little bit. Um, so what, what have you had to do with it? What's What's... So we're planning to do two stages of paint yeah. correction. Yeah. It's a bit more than that. Okay. <laughs> because what, what happened is we obviously started degreasing it when you yeah, were here. Yeah. Um, that didn't remove any, most of the gla glaze oils. There was actually okay. still some glaze oils in there. So then okay. we were like, okay, hold on one second. Can we start machine correct, uh, yeah. polishing and paint correcting? We're like, hold on, there's still some more stuff underneath. Yeah. So we took it out, we started washing it again. We washed it twice with hot water. Okay. Brought it in, and that showed a bit more of with the true picture. So, so it almost had like a, a a temporary layer on the top. Yeah, but exactly. ma it made it look good, but it wouldn't have lasted. It wouldn't have lasted. Okay, yeah. I'm it, with you. It's not designed to last. It's designed to sort of any imperfections you have in the paintwork. It would fill them temporarily, and then in sort of a month, two months, three months, depending how often you wash the car, it would come back. Uh, um, okay. But but the good news is, I mean, the the the, the paint was in good condition anyway. It's mm -hmm. just the finishing that needed a bit more work than I okay. anticipated. And just by the way, on a on a more basic level than yeah. what you would normally be looking at, I'm standing here looking at the the depth from the bright reds of the yeah. liquid red, the highlights, yeah, yeah. through to the shadows and the darker sections, and I'm so happy with this paint color. It looks phenomenal. Right. And then the gold as well contrasts really, really nicely. I mean, so, yeah, do you remember before there was a couple of... I was going to say, yeah, so, so we had some light scratching that we could see here before, and now, coming in, of course, the camera lens creates some small holograms, but the human eye can't see that at all. The metallic flake just looks perfect. Doesn't it? It looks amazing. And my reflection, it's a... Uh, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. It's it's amazing. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> and then here as well, there's a up here. There was some really bad marks here, wasn't there? There was, was some bad marring just on here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And and that, and that all the section here, obviously the whole car was done. But mm -hmm. just to show you what the the, the 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 difference before and after. Yeah. Well, you can also the camera's picking up quite well. The clarity is really really the good as well. Clarity is incredible. Yeah. Clarity is yeah. absolutely yeah. incredible. You had talked about how the general finishing with the edges, yeah, um, and the likes was on a really good level, and that was. I guess um, being painted over in the US, yeah, um, they did a good job of that first yeah. time around. Definitely, there was Definitely. some some small marks and things I remember spotting around here on the rear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, same thing. Clarity is nice and uh, and and I mean it's just it's just the clarity. That's what we're doing this prior to the PPF being mm -hmm. put on because you want to make sure it's absolutely perfect. You're getting through all that amazing fleck. Hundred percent. This is one of the really important things isn't yeah. it, about PPF. Effectively, when you PPF the car and you put the clear film all over it, yep. you're locking in that paint finish. You're locking That's in the goodness. It stays. You're locking in the goodness. So you yeah. want to make it completely yeah. perfect underneath. And we talked a little bit about why you do this on a brand new car because at the factory it takes a lot of man hours, as I'm sure you guys yeah. have been doing over the last few days, Definitely. to make it look this good everywhere. Yeah. So how, how is it to get in all these buttresses? People were asking me about that because the machine polisher yeah. itself, the normal polisher, is a bit no, large for that. You can't. So it, well, what we have to do with those areas there, you have to use a rotary machine, mm -hmm. uh, which is a dual action. is just too big to actually get it in. Yeah. So you use a rotary with this really long extendable head, okay. and you get in. So it's like, a, it's, like, it's like high heels for the machine okay. polisher. Okay. <laughs> so, so you can get into the right areas. You can get in. Exactly. Exactly, because the, the pad needs to be very small to be able to get into that area. So it's in terms of detailing, that's the trickiest part, and that's the most complex part. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's one of those things. It's, it's a day of the life of Topaz, right? We do this every day, so yeah. we have the tools waiting for it. So well, it is looking absolutely fantastic. Yeah, no, but it's just a big difference. I mean, obviously before it was amazing, 
Um, and but now it's just elevated. It hasn't. It's just given yeah. it that 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 depth. And even though this isn't yet the new unit, we're going to go and check out the new unit a little bit later on. Yep. The lighting that you have in here, yep. I can see how you can really pick out anything. You did spot anything that was an issue with it? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So with, with this lighting specifically, we've got spotlights and also ambient lighting as well. Mm -hmm. so we have the different forms of lighting to be able to see these defects. Yeah. Um, the more light you have, the better it is. And mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the way I think of it. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's. I mean, it's just really this area here is remarkable. Just the way it looks with the gold and the and, and the red, just looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely that's not fantastic. a bad view at all. Yeah. It looks really, really good. So, obviously, now we're going to go on to the paint protection film stage. Of mm -hmm. this. Once we've completed the detailing, we've still got a couple of things to do to it um, to get it to hundred percent. And then once that's done, we're going to go over to the PPF side. Wonderful. Before we come back to go through the PPF stages, I told you I'd take you for a walkthrough of the Topaz workshop, which at the moment is filled with the most incredible cars. So we've got the two GTs, a McLaren Senna here. I'm going to take you through the process on my Senna when it comes in in the near future. Maybe it will be timed so perfectly that I can collect the GT and drop the Senna off after Autosport, but that is not all. So let me show you through the cars that are currently in here. Starting off, the Aston Martin V12 Vantage. I love this color. It is just like my dad's old car as it happens. Gorgeous, stunning thing, manual gearbox. Then you've got a McLaren P1, one of 375 cars. That's just been completed, ready to roll out. And then on this side, the Koenigsegg one-to-one. -one. You saw this at the beginning being driven back into the workshop. This is a particularly special car. There are only six production cars of these in total, plus one prototype. This has had a full paint protection film installation. And obviously with the satin blue paintwork, it also has satin PPF film on the top of it, but a complete custom project. We'll explain more about how all of that works shortly. But the one-to-one -one was super special because it is literally the first car that offered 1,300 360 horsepower along with just a weight of 1360 kilos for the magical one to one power to weight ratio this thing is stunning in every way it is a proper proper poster car turn egg one to one and you just look around it i am in awe of this car the wing hangs from the rear from the roof line it's not supported from below just Ah, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Being worked on there, Aston Martin Vanquish Legato shooting brake. Those are coming in thick and fast. On this side, we have a very bright green McLaren 600 LT. And what's quite interesting about this is to see some of the quality checking being done. Marks that you can't even see with your own eyes. They go around the car in detail many times to just ensure everything is completely perfect. If I come on through here, we have got a Ferrari 488 Pista, the brand new Pistas just starting to roll through and being worked on as well. Beyond that, we've got a Volcano Orange 600 LT, lovely light blue Performante Spider, and also being worked on on this side uh, from Lamborghini Pangborn is an Aventador SVJ. Now, what's interesting about this is to do the templates for the PPF. Of course, the SVJ has a new body kit. You have new parts. For example, the front bumper is different to the previous models, the Aventador S or the SV. So those have to be re-templated um, to obviously fit the new car. Some parts are shared, like the wings and the bonnet, but there are many new parts on it as well. So the lineup in here is looking truly fantastic. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. I love that thing. It looks so nice. Let's talk PPF then. So these are brand new cars. They're highly bespoke. Yep. There's a lot that goes into it. Exactly. Tell us a bit about how this works when you have these kind of cars. Of course. That one over there yep. is the first little car that we received. Of the new 4GT. Of the new 4GT. Yep. Yeah. So this was the, the car that we, we took our patterns off. So this was the car that came in. Mm -hmm. We'd have a look around the car. We'd make sure that we'd see any possible uh, uh, high impact areas mm -hmm. and then we'd then have a debrief with our design team and go yeah right this is where the high impact areas are yeah this is where it needs to finish this is where it needs to wrap da -da -da -da. what are we going to do yeah and they come back and they go do that you can get i mean standardized templates shall we say yeah you can yeah you can get templates from basically most of the manufacturers of film mm -hmm. okay. uh, but we we don't use those for these kind of cars because we like to get perfection uh, yeah. at the topaz standard so what we do is i mean to give you an idea this wing fits, obviously there's a process of, of mm -hmm. designing the, the yep. film and it takes about three tries putting the film on yeah. to get it right. Okay. But just to give you an idea, this wing yep. is slightly off to that wing. Okay. And it's off by one millimeter. Yeah. So 
it's very easy for us to go, yeah, do you know what, we've designed this one, we can copy, paste, copy flip. paste, flip, and do it that way. No, we've tested yeah. on that side, there's a mill off, and we're like, no, let's to make an adjustment, and we okay. put it left and right side. And the film, the, I was gonna say, the film adjusts completely perfectly, because I know lots of the panels here are already done, but you yeah. can't see any edges, you wrap it round, and Ex tightly snuck it in. Exactly, no, exactly that, exactly. And, and before, but, and, but I wanna show you something on your car in a second, yeah. but, but before we do that, Part of the process of us doing the design process and the debrief mm -hmm. is to make sure that any of the areas that are high impact are mm -hmm. protected. Yeah, so uh, these kind of bits, exactly. down here, right behind the arches, right behind that arrow. Down, there, down the side of the leading edge, mm -hmm. leading this section here. Yep. And also what we do is with these kind of areas that are very high impact, we double up on film. Okay. So we put a layer of film, part of the main piece, and we put another layer as well to make sure that nothing can go into the actual car. So you've got like double templated layers, one on top of the other. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> yes. So complicated. Complicated, but it has to be done, because yeah. that, that, we, 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 we're perfectionists in that aspect. So we yeah. want to make sure the patterns are perfect. 100%. And, and again, just as you touched on earlier, we make sure that it's wrapped wherever possible, mm -hmm. because you can wrap basically everywhere, but then it's, it's a risk of it lifting afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, it's, if you can't adhere properly to the right, to yeah, the yeah. right surface. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's not as simple as just wrapping and going, okay, take the, that's it, the customer take the car. Because mm -hmm. in a month's time, he'll be calling us going, this lifted, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. So we, we've got that experience to, to know what exactly can and can't be done. I've got a little, little secret to tell you. Yep. You know, we're looking around your car. Yeah. And I told you that it's all been paint corrected and everything. Yeah, yeah. It has been. Yeah. But there is film on this panel already. And that panel already installed. Honestly. See, that is the crazy Honestly. thing about it. So we, you have, it hasn't been touched Honestly. since we did the introduction earlier and took a look around. No, no, no. And so I'm quite familiar with PPF, and those are already done. I wanted to trick you to see if you could see that or not. <laughs> That's how good it is, isn't it? I'm like, where, where are these? Okay, okay. There you this go. is already done. This is it's right, perfectly, perfectly. <laughs> Wow, and because it's so tucked in, and I mean the panel gaps on this car are incredible. How yeah, close yeah. Um, are. two parts are. No, exactly. Yeah. So, so, so having a really good design piece of film to go yeah. around it is really, really good. It, so this wraps underneath as well. It does. It, yeah, goes, it goes fully goes underneath. To yeah. The... yeah. Even the front section wraps around as well here. To make okay. sure that it's optimum. I mean, the way I look at design is I want to make sure that first of all it does its job yeah. by protecting the paintwork. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a perfectionist in the way me and Mazen are both in the way aesthetically the way these things look, mm -hmm. it needs to look right and protect. Yeah. Not just you can. I mean, you can go anywhere. And you can throw a film on there. Yeah. You'll get marks, stretch marks, yeah. lines. These are the kind of things that most people won't see. But once it's pointed out to them, they go, oh, okay, no, actually, yeah, yeah. No, I want it to be seamless, I want it to look really nice, I want it to look... So it's one of those things, pursuit for perfection. Absolutely, well I'm that looks it. pretty good to me. So what we're gonna do now though, is have a look at the installation process behind some of the other panels. Yep. And uh, I'll talk you guys through what's going on, how exactly this all works. No, exactly, let's do that. Fantastic. Cool. It is PPF time then, so let's go behind the scenes with the guys working here on the front bumper of the GT, which strikes me as a particularly large and awkward piece. What you've just seen is the first round of putting on slip solution, which is then squeegeed off. So this is done after already going over it with IPA to make sure basically there are no microfibers from drying down the car. It went for a quick wash before the installation, so after the detailing it had a wash before the PPF installation starts. But this is then done with the first round of slip solution to get rid of even more and then there'll be another round before the film itself is back rolled and put onto the car. Now this is quite an interesting panel because of course you've got the liquid red, you've got the man gold, you've got a badge to go around, you've got the shapes, you've got some curves over the front lip, but it will be one piece that's pre-templated and cut to go all the way from here around the bottom of the red uh, colored parts for the front and the template package you can imagine for the entire car is literally apart from here, apart from the headlight, apart from the wing, apart from the door, in fact multiple parts and uh, <laughs> That's always quite a fun way to just completely soak it down with slip solution before we get the, uh, the film out in a moment to see how that goes on. This is where the magic happens. The paint protection film is back rolled, so it initially gets attached um, by squeegeeing away the slip solution at the very end. It's back rolled the entire way around, but of course this is pre-cut. There are no knives or anything going anywhere near the car. That's the whole point of doing this with templates, so that you have all the shapes and you can see the way um, that it's going to be maneuvered and adjusted into position. It comes down towards the very front edge. You have separate pieces for the carbon fiber. You can have glossy or satin protection film, depending which it is that you want to have. Um, for the car that you're doing in particular. And obviously this has all been created and adjusted and 
you'll see in a moment, is going to seamlessly blend in and cover that part of the paintwork that's been detailed um, across the front of the car. As you can see, all of the film gets moved around to line it up, so in this case around the Ford badge in the centre. And what happens using Fix Solution is that when you squeegee it out, the film will actually stay in the exact spot in which you mounted it. So it almost sticks straight to the car and it can actually be removed. The paintwork is still fully protected underneath. Should you wish to replace the film, we'll take the film off in the future. But obviously, if you imagine the car getting a stone chip at the front, it's the film that takes the bronze of it, not the paintwork. So on a car like this, where you have a triple layer, multi-stage red paint, and the last thing you want to do in the world is damage it, you just have to replace this bit of film if anything does happen. And you can see the way that now, even just there beneath the badge, is basically completely seamless on the front. And the trick is to work all the way around, to line it all up, to adjust all the different parts, and uh, take time to be careful and ensure it's all done correct. And then it's gonna look pretty good. One of the most important things is to line up the edges completely in the right spot and get those fixed and then work the rest of the material around the different lines and creases that you have in the bodywork. So here, for example, you can see how it folds back under the wheel arch uh, to protect from any stones that get flicked up, but also how it's shaped around the contours of the car and the sculpture of the shapes of the bodywork, which can be particularly complicated. For example, if you look here on the door, of course, you're going to have the fold in there and then the fold out here. So there will have to be number, a number of different pieces to do that. You also have some particularly huge parts of PPF. So if you think this panel goes all the way from here, across the roof, down the C-pillar, towards the tail light and around the back, all in one single cut piece of material. Um, and then you even have pieces that have to go through here, all the way through, um, along the, uh, the base of this area, under the buttress, towards the door as well, and then wrapped around, um, around these edges too, to protect those high impact spaces. Um, satin carbon will get done, we'll have a look at some of that later on as well. Just all here being lined up. Um, and coming together very, very quickly. This is always the immensely satisfying thing to watch when the entire area gets squeegeed and the film almost vanishes with the solution being pushed out from underneath it before the edges get wrapped a little bit later. Sometimes they're given a little bit more time to set, but you can see how that's gone from looking like film earlier on to almost non-existent on the surface of the paintwork. In this case, you can see the ginormous openings that the car has in the front. Those are what cause it to do away with any luggage space. And then this bit of film gets tucked down, some fixed solution that makes it stick. And that will be kind of molded into place, into shape, and eventually will sit completely flush. You can see it's already gone down um, over this section. This is where you then get to the interesting shapes that you have from the original template. So in this case, as you can see, uh, the way that part flaps down because of the opening that you have here. So it has to all be designed so that when it's wrapped around the right shapes, uh, it works, even though, of course, the template is printed out or cut out, I should say, on the flat. Uh, but this will, again, tuck around and tuck in. It's quite funny, actually, how, obviously, when you have water on the satin carbon, it makes it look quite glossy. You can technically make a gloss car satin using satin PPF or satin parts gloss using gloss PPF, uh, should you prefer as well. So you can actually give that effect um, using the paint protection film. What's interesting about what goes on right here is that because of the way the film is cut, you have to line up the two different bits. And there's obviously the connection line between them, but getting it right on the edge makes it virtually invisible. So you can't actually see that the film is joined uh, going along that kind of leading edge of the car at all, which then allows this separate piece to be done uh, down towards the sides where you have that um, panel that you can see for, directly straight through actually for the aero around the edge of the car. Almost there with this section. That really does look so satisfying to squeeze it all out to get it into place. And there we go, more or less completed. It then gets wiped down. And it will go through a number of stages of quality checking as well to make sure it's all in place correctly. No bubbles, no marks, nothing underneath the film. It's looking very, very lovely around this side of the car. The crazy thing is how you wouldn't necessarily realize that that piece has PPF and that doesn't yet, when of course all the edges are finally tucked down. 
So the panel is mostly in. Next up is to basically heat up the edges to help it settle, to help it stick. There are a couple of bits that are left until later on. So here, for example, where you can imagine there's almost a, a cluster of extra uh, material. You need to let it dry out rather than attacking it straight away where it might then later on lift up, which of course you do not want. But this is a case of going all the way around again to work on that. Now simultaneously, other panels around the car are all being done. So working out some of the side, uh, the side sills, the carbon. You can see actually with the door open right now, how open that is from behind the wheels. So you can literally imagine how through here, there's an opening from one side to the other, they'll be throwing stones up and battering on here. So it's very important all of that is as best protected as it possibly can be. And then even you know awkward shapes like this get done. The mirror will be multiple parts, so there'll be a part for the carbon, a part probably for the base, maybe another part for the top. The headlights also get done. Last thing you want is a cracked headlight, so there's film for those. You can also do film on some of the interior parts if I come round. So we're working down there to this side. Okay, I think maybe even already installed some film on the uh, carbon there. You can even do film on some of the interior bits so down at the footwell. You can see the carbon there, that piece where your foot would naturally kick the side quite easily. You can pop it on there too. You literally put film on all of it. This is a very important area, the underside of the side sill. That would get absolutely peppered away and chipped and damaged otherwise. But this is not going to be too far away from a bumper that's completed. Of course, it's going to take a long time for the guys to do the whole of the car. But for the time being, let's leave this uh, with the guys cracking on with it. And go check out what the Beal has planned over in the new unit. Well, this is different. It's a lot different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So you're standing on your wash bay. Okay. Yeah, which is really, really cool. So as a very brief summary, we, we want to make sure that the car is absolutely clean before they go into the workshop, mm -hmm. as we did in our other unit. Uh, here you have a, a handover bay, yep. which is exactly the same as the last time, but slightly adapted uh, for, for more space. Mm -hmm. And then through the back area there, you've got a VIP area. Okay. Um, so people can see their car uh, whilst they're coming to pick it up. For sure, and coming through here, you have literally, like we said, taken it to the next level. You have stage two of Topaz going <laughs> exactly on here. Exactly that. Upstairs is an area which is gonna, we're gonna keep secret for now because it's our okay. secret project, yeah. uh, Topaz skin. But, but yeah, so there's a, we've literally doubled our floor space. Okay, so really, really cool. what's going to be down here? So down here we're going to have paint protection film. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I've spent a lot of time I've obsessed with uh, structural engineers and also lighting engineers. Yep. So we can get the exact finish we want to get mm -hmm. uh, in terms of an actual uh, working finish that we can work with. And you've got a great view up here as well. It's a great view to be able to look at the cars through this viewing window, which is... Oh, okay. You're going to have yeah, yeah. cool cars in there, right? Yeah, so I can I imagine. See them more up well, there. based on what we've seen today, Car lift going here? Car lift going here. Um, really, really long car lift to be able to fit, fit anything that you want to fit, apart from that Pullman. Okay, not the Pullman, but can <laughs> you get Pullman. an extended wheelbase Phantom? Yeah, you can. You a can nice Phantom 8 can, can go up there? Yeah, it can. So it's got to lift, uh, lift quite some weight as well. For the weight and for the length as well. So it's okay. actually, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a long uh, lift. But yeah, so coming up here. Lighting and lots of it. This, I mean, this is, you've got a lot of space in here now. I know, it's doubled difference. it, doubled the floor space. Yeah, we literally doubled the floor space, but you know, there's so much more light that needs to go in. Mm -hmm. There's so many more peripheral items that need to go mm -hmm. in. I can go, I can talk to you for hours about this, right? Yeah. It's been weeks and weeks and months <laughs> and months and years of the planning, to be honest, but yeah, so it's really, really cool. Offices as well? Yeah, all the offices have been extended as well, so now we've got boardrooms and all okay, sorts of Okay, nice. Cetera. And the view down here and the cars, that's going to be incredible. But all the moment, all you can see now is lights. Yeah, <laughs> lights boxes. waiting to be unboxed. <laughs> so we'll be back here in not very long. Or maybe this might be up and running for the centre at some point, maybe catch it at the end. If so. not, very soon thereafter, so. I'm sure. Yeah, that's the plan, I'm hoping so, yeah. Exciting times. Really exciting, <laughs> really, really exciting. Back over with the car, good progress is being made, and next up is going to be the underside of the door sill. The background noise, by the way, is the detailing going on to the 911 GT3 just there, the polisher running. Of course, with the carbon fiber, I touched a bit on it earlier, but you use satin film for the satin carbon fiber. The other GT here actually has gloss carbon fiber. You'll notice that was an option uh, on the factory order form. But the door sill is a very, very vulnerable part. You can imagine the sticky tires are throwing up a lot of stuff
stones to the underside of this. And there's also quite a visible part because when the doors are open, you're looking at that whole panel. So this gets some protection on the bottom. It will have protection on the top as well, and also around the sides. Um, and it works in exactly the same process over satin. Of course, there's a different feel, a different actual physical feel on the satin uh, finish versus the gloss paintwork, but it's still lacquered over the top of the carbon fiber, so it's still quite a smooth finish. Um, and works in a, a sort of similar method with the slip solution to move it around that you can see at the moment, approximately lining it all up before the fixed solution will hold it in place, uh, and then going over it using a squeegee and running through the same process uh, to install that part. It's also important to spray slip solution on the outside so that you don't risk doing any marking to the film uh, when you go over it with the squeegee. So the slip on the outside, the fix has been put on the underside, and again, you can see the way that just puts it into place neatly all around and then ultimately there will be a uh, single panel that bar the spray that's on there is completely flat and installed on the surface of the car. Some of these parts are a little bit more fiddly, you can see the way this one goes inside, but what's being done here is actually a double layer, so a second layer of film, uh, just to protect even more in a vulnerable area at the base of the car, still maintain the carbon fibre through it. You can see the way the template helps here to get that wrapped around the edges, the same techniques used all around to make it all work. The guys are really blitzing through this, a whole team working on the car, going through the different areas. Every single panel that you can see will be protected. There are some things to have to watch out for, for example around the exhaust, you can imagine these get really hot and because they get hot, if let's say you did this inside area here, the film would literally burn and bubble up as a result. So what you don't want is to you know, have that negative effect. So it'll be left just around the outside to make sure there's no risk from it. Um, the car actually comes with a little bit of film from factory just inside here. Um, I can actually feel it just installed on there. I'm not sure if you can quite see that. Um, but that's to protect from the wing when it goes back down to make sure it doesn't scratch the paint because it really flies down very, very, very quickly. I love these stripes. They look so good, especially on the underside as well with the wing up like that and looking through the car. So this is really just heightening my anticipation now to get this car out and about on the roads and be able to take it out for a drive. But there's a fair amount more that still needs to be done. The edges on this side are being heated in. As you can imagine, it's a very steady process to go all the way around and make sure every single thing is perfect. And believe me when I tell you now, they do a lot of quality control and checking with these cars to make sure that this film is in every way installed as it should be. So you and I might not necessarily be able to see the kind of things, the attention to detail that Topaz will then pick up on and rectify if needed to make sure that the perfect result is provided at the end. Of course, we talked earlier about how the splitter was a separate piece. So in this case, again, satin carbon, but it gets the IPA treatment to just clean it all up. This is all again about making sure there are no fibers left from the microfiber cloths you used or anything like that during the cleaning and washing stages of the car. And then it will be a case of slip solution being sprayed all over it before that gets back rolled and installed. And this is an interesting piece because you've got a very, very thin, narrow section going under that nose cone all the way around to the other side exactly how it's all going to work. The machine gun approach to uh, getting it all prepared and covered in slip solution. So the first first round has to get squeegeed off then it'll get sprayed again ready for the uh, material to be back rolled. Back rolling that then all the way around the front. I best keep out of the way so as not to uh, interfere with what's going on. It's some kind of magic really the way it just moves around positions and eventually vanishes as you can see where there is that is currently being squeegeed the way it's almost like there is nothing there it's totally invisible I mean look at this edge here we know the two parts above and below are both done but if you didn't know there was protection film on this you honestly wouldn't be able to see it you'd have no idea and then the paintwork underneath the result of the detailing I mean you can see from the reflections with the center right beside me and myself holding the camera they are so, so, so good and clear. And that's now going to be preserved underneath the protection film forever. The car will always look immense. And from my experience with the other cars that I've got, this is well and truly worth doing because you know you can go out and drive it and not worry about it. Things like stone chips at the front, uh, bird droppings on the roof or on the sides or anywhere, depending where you park the car, or tree sap, or just about anything, road grime, all the dirt. Let's say the worst happens and you have somebody brush past you. You can even find that it gets saved as a result. Or 
if you're having a car like this and you park it out there, people often go and take photos. People often will stand beside the car and lean on it, forgetting about the buckles they've got on the back of their trousers. And those can actually scratch a car, use the effort to save it. We bought it on the keying test of my Ferrari, you might remember that, which was kind of cool too. Just come back in to see how this is going down. It's all uh, a very swift process to get that installed, just lots of parts when you think of the car overall. It's well over 100 parts, I think, to do the entire car and every panel and every single piece. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there and let the guys crack on, get out of their hair, get out of the way with my video camera. PPF is well and truly underway now at Topaz. So fingers crossed, by the time the Auto Sports Show is completed and over and I'm back here, it will be time then to pick this car up, to take it out for my first proper drive on the roads. At the same time, to bring the Senna in, to have it in here as well for its detailing and paint protection film installation. So big thanks to everyone for putting up with me filming. Of course, there's a lot of background noise. There's a lot going on, a very active workshop, and some very exciting times ahead with the new unit when that's up and running in the not too distant future. As always, big thanks to Nabil and co-owner, his brother Mazin as well, for their help getting everything done and allowing me to come in with my video camera to show you a little bit more of this process. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm incredibly excited excited about this car. The big adventures are going to be starting very, very soon. That's it for this time though. I'll see you again then. Cheers!